This is Andrea Mitchell really letting uh, El Señor Pete Navarro have it. I still think she gave him too much talk time, but still she pushed back on Navarro in a way that, that they usually had not done. Folks, if you're just joining us, please do remember to share the program. I want to talk to you, though, about the convalescent sure. plaza and plasma, rather, and the emergency use. FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn uh, has now apologized. Uh, he, along with the president, uh, Secretary Azar, on Sunday night, said that out of 100 people with COVID, 35 were saved by convalescent plasma in a study. He now says that the criticism of those false claims, exaggerated claims, was entirely justified and that he should have said that there is a relative yeah. risk reduction not an absolute yeah. reduction and in fact the yeah. study was only a subset of a subset not a randomized study now you are a phd economist you're an expert sure. you know statistics inside sure. and out emergency approval of using plasma this way reduces the possibility of having a proper randomized study and it falsely well, I, I inflates don't, hopes. I don't accept that, so that premise. I, that, that, that to me is well, like a, a crazy talking point. That's what every expert, point. that's it's what like, Mayo, like, the not, Mayo not Clinic, expert. sir, not, no. the Mayo Clinic, which did yeah, the but, study, but, is but saying say that. This. And Dr. Oh. Hahn is saying that. But, 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 is but, Dr. Hahn, the FDA committee, let, let me just get my question out. Is Dr. Hahn wrong? No, the question is, Dr. Hahn has said that he was wrong to say this. On the issue of the ran not being able to do randomized trials, I mean, what, what is the calculus here? Are we going to wait to use something that can save thousands of lives just so we can have a study that tells us what we already know, which yes, is Yes, that is scientific works. practice, now, sir. Now, with respect... Excuse oh, me, that, uh, is, that is the way okay. vaccines right. and, See, and this drugs is an are important, approved. This is an That's important the test. debate. Uh, Hang on, Andrea. Andrea, is the Andrea, test. Andrea. Andrea, Andrea. This is an important debate for the American people and your viewers to have. Do you want to wait for a therapy which likely works to get these scientific studies, which are going to take three, six months or whatever, or do you want to do the right to try? President Trump is the right to try president. And here's what the, the, thing, the debate over convalescent plasma puzzles me, frankly, because this is a, a, a therapy that's been used for over a century. And we know two things about it. For the, other the diseases. That, not for COVID. Yeah, ex that's, ex this is a new virus, sir. Exactly. But if it's used for other diseases, here's my claim. My claim is that the odds of this being, uh, being able to hurt you are close to zero. So it's safe. The odds of it being able to help you are close to 100%. Now, whether, you know, Bahan, he close misspoke. Close to 100%? He, he cited the that's, odds that's of this not being, hang on, the odds of this being able to help people is close to 100 percent it's not going to help every person as han han basically used absolute numbers rather than relative i'm not going to defend stephen han what i am going to defend is the idea well, but the that president we need, said that as well and it, 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 it was the and it. it was the and, president Andrea, it was stephen han it, and cannot, secretary azar together on the platform you, at the you white do, house you do I, a I just disservice have to correct you, as you, you do go a along. disservice important clips i think you could play andrea at some point is Vice President Biden's chief of staff saying how they did every single thing wrong during the H1N1 crisis, and it could have been the largest mass casualty event in history. And I would remind you, when the president pulled down the flights from China on January 31st, he was called a xenophobe and a racist by Biden, yet that saved hundreds of thousands well, of lives. Well, that was out of context, so, sir. That, what, that's what, not what the case. Context? And 40,000 40, people came in from China after he put that. that uh, yeah, and it could have been on. hundreds 40, of thousands people. of more. But, but, you know, Andrea, it's like. There were so many exceptions. I, I think. Now, it's interesting. You notice, uh, Andrea took a little bit too long to talk about the Biden statement being out of context, but she went to him with him. Uh, for, and this, if you know how Andrea interviews, you know that for her to push back like that it's like a new a new day because normally Andrea does not push back the way she pushed back there with peter navarro but you can see they're completely and unscientific when he makes a silly statement that oh uh you know plasma therapy has been used for a long time yes for other diseases well yeah if it works for other diseases no you don't know the characteristics of this virus so you don't know that you have to do a double blind study to make sure that it's really efficacious you got to do that it is science Additionally, 
uh, she, when, when he goes out and he says, well, we, we, we are th this is the president that's going to say, uh, we, we'll go ahead and try it. Anyway, now who takes care of that person? If trying it out, it, trying it out in a non-scientific manner harms you for life. It's not like we're a country that has Medicare for all. It's not like we are a country that saves, that, that prevents you from going bankrupt if you get real sick or some sort of a, uh, a, a pernicious disease, a disease that stays with you for a long time, a chronic disease. That's not the country that we are. So therefore, we must follow scientific norms because, again, if we don't and something goes wrong, we are not a country that takes care of its own. Here in America, you're all alone. Don't forget that. You're all alone. Andrea Mitchell did perfectly with, uh, with El Señor Navarro, but I think she should have been a little bit harder many a time. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.